Hi friends, welcome back to All on the Law. This is a surgery, a clinical vignet. So here I'm gonna give you the clinical history. You have to tell me the diagnosis, treatment, or the next best step, or the management, whatever. So let's start. And this is important for USMLE step two, CK. Okay, a 32 year old man works in a factory. Okay, so he works in the factory, there was an explosion, okay, explosion in the factory, because of the explosion, okay, explosion, he has sustained injuries, multiple, multiple injuries or lacerations, lacerations, okay, from the flying debris, right, now he has a shortness of breath, okay, on examination, when the paramedics arrive at the scene, they see there's a wound in the flap-like wound. Flap-like wound. Flap-like wound in the chest wall, which is 6 cm in size. He sucks air through it with every inspiratory effort. So this is a very important topic point he sucks air through it with every inspiratory inspiratory effort he sucks air in okay so now tell me what's the diagnosis it's not a classical sucking chest wound right of course this is a classical sucking chest wound so what you have to do is once he is in the hospital you can place a chest tube right but at the time of the scene when you see this uh, what you can do is um, it has to be covered to prevent further air intake because uh, right to prevent the infection and to prevent further what you call injury of the lungs um what you have to do is a vaseline gauze is ideal vaseline gauze is ideal okay uh, but it must be allowed to let air out that's a really very important okay so there's other options also like creating one-way flap okay that can be also be done but once in the hospital you have to do the chest tube that's it guys okay guys so this is about the clinical uh, surgery surgery clinical vignette thank you so much for watching this video take care